I'm Deborah Knapp. Our top story tonight, a student shamed over a sweater. A single mom says a top school official embarrassed her teenage daughter just because her sweater was blue. That violates the dress code at Saul Ross Middle School. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos talks to the family who says the situation should have been handled differently. This isn't just any sweater for Casey Neely. I have a problem with the way that my body looks. I have a problem with showing my arms. I guess like this jacket, like it, it made me feel comfortable. A jacket the eighth grader was told she can't wear at Sol Ross Middle School. She's like crying. When I see her, she's got tears in her eyes. On Tuesday, Neely says a vice principal came up to her and shamed her in front of her friends, saying her blue sweater violated the dress code. She's like, well, it's for the safety of our other students and it will hinder her from learning. I said the color of her jacket's going to keep her from learning. Neely says she told the school official her mother couldn't afford a new jacket until Friday. She said that's too bad. She was like, maybe if you keep asking your mom, eventually she'll cave and she'll buy you one. A single mother of four was waiting on her next paycheck. And I feel like my daughter shouldn't have to suffer the consequences because I can't afford something that the school says that she should have. The blue jacket was donated by their church. Now the family is left to buy one that is black, yellow, or green. They should be able to go to school to get an education because at the end of the day, it's grades that matter. People are going to look at your grades. They're not going to look at the clothes that you're wearing. Henry joins us live from the Northside ISD Middle School. Henry, the family met with the principal today. Did they come up with a solution? Deborah, for now, the principal actually gave Casey a jacket to wear until Friday. By the way, today was her first day back at school because she was so embarrassed she actually missed school yesterday. Deborah.